The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanna. It's current time 1113 here on this Wednesday. Hope everybody was able to enjoy what was a gorgeous day across the region. And if you weren't, no worries. You have Thursday and Friday to enjoy before things start to change for us. To the north, that's where we have some rain and thunderstorms extending from Toronto all the way west into Omaha. That activity stays to the north of us and high pressure is going to rule the roost for us here for about 24 to 36 more hours. If you are fortunate enough to have Thursday and Friday off, it's looking like a great time to hit one of our lakes or one of our rivers. If you're heading to Smith Mountain Lake or Claytor Lake, you're going <laughs> to really enjoy the weather, okay? We're going to near records on Thursday, and we're about as warm as we had into Friday. Both days, we're going to see more sunshine than cloud cover. I think we're going to see more sunshine in the morning and a little more cloud cover later in the day. High temperatures Thursday, Friday in the 80s. However, the water temperature at the lakes and rivers is going to be more like the middle 60s. All right, so what we're tracking here, Thursday, Friday, we're hot. We're going to stay dry for the time being, but that all changes with this guy right here. It's a cold front. It's going to cross our neck of the woods on Saturday. It's going to increase our rain chances. Rain, thunderstorms return to the forecast for us really from late Saturday morning through about early to mid Saturday evening, roughly from about 11 a.m., maybe 10 a.m. through about 8 p.m. We will have a better chance for rain and thunderstorms. However, behind the front by Sunday, we're going to dry out and see a little more sunshine. However, we're going to turn windy and cooler heading into Sunday and also into Monday. So cool, in fact, that we could have some patchy frost Sunday night into Monday morning and then again Monday night into Tuesday morning. So look, <laughs> I know it's tempting. I've been tempted to go to the nursery and grab plants, plant them and let them grow and let the yard look pretty. I urge you to fight that urge until about mid next week, okay? I don't think we're gonna have a hard freeze in most locations, but we could have some frost early next week. Bear that in mind. Temperatures right now, very warm. 71 in Roanoke, it's 63 in Lynchburg. Mid to upper 50s out across Southside. 62 though in Hillsville and Galax, and 66 as we speak in Hot Springs. So the numbers to beat tomorrow talked about that chance for near record warmth. Near record warmth is, I think, a good way to describe it. I don't think we get there. We're going to be really close, but I don't think we get there. The number to beat in Blacksburg, 85. The number to beat in Covington, Roanoke and Lynchburg is 91. 94 is the number to beat in Danville. I don't think we have any trouble at all hitting the 80s. Most of us hit the upper 80s tomorrow. I don't think we hit the low to mid 90s tomorrow, but it can't be ruled out. Matter of fact, the most recent 90 degree day in April happened in 1957 in Blacksburg, 2010 in Danville, 2013 in Covington and Roanoke, and in 2022 in Lynchburg. For tonight, mainly clear, not as chilly. Overnight lows tonight, 49 to 56. For the day tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny, very, very warm. A little bit of a breeze. High temperatures tomorrow in the 80s everywhere. A couple of locations, such as Alta Vista, maybe even Virgilina, Car Charlotte Courthouse. You could hit 90 tomorrow. Your extended forecast, 86 Friday, 72 though on Saturday, 60s on Sunday and Monday, bouncing right back up to 70 on Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll tell you that we're looking at uh, the best chance for showers and thunderstorms for the next seven days lying on Saturday and also on Wednesday. Today we forecast a high of 83. The actual high was 85, $10 in the pot, $350 raised for the Blacksburg Refugee Partnership.